All right, so I am going to create a new entity. Um, every state has a fee for this because they have to file it. Somebody's got to get paid, otherwise people would just be filing for new stuff all the time. So really the only cost to get started with us other than you know driving places, which you have to do for any job. Um, so to do this in Minnesota, that's what I Googled. Um, I went then on here, there's all these good PDFs and stuff, but the online services I see is over here. So any state I've seen, I've pretty much been able to find this. So what you'll need to do generally first is you always need to create an account, which is simply just giving them their email, and then they're gonna give you something just to verify your email. So this is in my email, click on it, boom. Thank you for confirming your email, now sign in. Boom, let's see if that works. Cool. Put in my other information, put you guys down. Got my address in here, pretty simps. Deliver information is saved. Cool. Save it again. Okay, I guess that one just wanted me to do that. So I saved it. So maybe now I go up to business filings. Let's try this. I want to create a new one. So is there anything that lets me do? There she is. So it's always going to be domestic corporation. Yep. So this one in my state's 155, and Iowa I think it's like 70 bucks. Uh, it's around that for like Utah. It's a, yeah, a lot of places is under 100 dollars. In Minnesota, we got to pay a couple extra bureaucrats. Um, nope. So this is a very simple business. All you guys are going to be doing is collecting fees for turning in work. So proposed name. Let me try. What I was looking for and put this down so you'll put in this and then it's gonna tell you whether or not you can choose that name in that state if somebody else has that name you can't use it so I'm gonna put this down So this one is available. So now I'm gonna hit file. I'm gonna put in my the information here of, uh, of myself, so I'll do that. And if cats help, help me out here, buddy, you already ate. Cool, so I added that information. Next. This is me. Again, so you're pretty much your own boss and everything on everything. Uh, next, my address again. Boom. Next. Confirming some addresses. Enter the number of shares of corporation. So it'll ask like how many shares. They're, you're going to own all the shares unless obviously at some point your corporation gets big. 30 or 100. I'm going to do 100. Um, it's a nice simple business so shares really won't come involved. Uh, perpetual. So to say that the business is going to go on until whenever. Add an attachment if you have a file. Currently only PDFs uploaded. You may include one attachment of file. Information is attached. So 
in a lot of places they're going to want you to upload something and it might it could just be that i'm starting a business any kind of information you want locked in when you turn this in so um i'm gonna have to write something put it on my computer and upload it um and then at that point i'm gonna hit next so unfortunately i'm gonna have to stop this video and get that done so i will yeah, let me walk you through it too so let's just keep it going you guys just aren't going to be able to see for a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a Google Doc. Google Docs. I hit enter. Get click on Google Docs. Open a blank one. Okay, so I'm in Google Docs. I'm gonna open a blank one. I'm gonna just type up whatever I'm gonna call something to attach with this business. Assume as she's ready. <laughs> All right, title. Call this my Articles of Incorporation PDF. Articles of Corp PDF. Boom. Today's day. There she goes. Okay. So really, um, we are at. That's all I did. So now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to save it as a PDF. Download PDF. Click on it. And hopefully it's going to send something down there. There she be. All right, cool. So now I can go back. That's all it says. Pretty simple. Business filings. There she is. So back to my upload. So now I hit upload. Downloads. I got to look for that. Get that A articles. There she is. Cool. Boom. So that's on there now. Next. Looks good. Leave that blank. Put in an email address again. Double email. Uh, something doesn't match what I mess up. Yep, Gmail. Oops. Perfect. All right. How many? T how many minutes? Uh, these full-time employees are going to have zero to five. Is the owner the member of the owner of the crew self-identified as I'm a veteran? So I'm going to click on that. Sounds fun. Using something. All right. So pretty much professional 
Let's see. We're pretty much just charging Aspen for marketing. So that's what we should be looking for. Something like that. Education services, not too bad. Well, let's do other services. Looks good to me. Uh, I'm a, a full-time primary responsible operating entity. That's me. Okay, if applicable, that's the gross revenue. So for this one, we're looking at pretty good size. So that's going to be exciting. Just a confirmation of the information. Information. Sign it. I'm guessing I have to pay for this pretty soon. Bank electronic program system, um, but I'm not with US Bank. What do I gotta do here? Pay without registering. Let's try that. Perfect. There's all my info. Throw an email address on here. You guys need a black pig? I got one. Email address in there, card. This one, say. Code. Use the code on this one. Like that. Try it. Confirmation again. All right. information correct so we're gonna hit back I'm trying to get, go grab my card <clears throat> Guys, we're motating. Nah, dang it. What is going on? So, guys, some of this will be easy for you guys, and some people it always is a struggle.
Boom, we're good. Confirmation number. All right, business filing. This is now here. Your order has been processed. Has been processed. So it's creating an, uh, an agreement. So I do have this now. So now that I got my name, so I named this Cherry Exteriors Inc. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the IRS part next. 